You know when people say that there are no dumb questions? I actually say that myself a lot. Well, turns out sometimes there are. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli, I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. So for the fifth and last video of my Ask a German mini-series, I'm gonna answer this question that a lot of you guys also voted for in the poll. What's the most annoying question you get asked by Americans? Which reminded me of this TikTok trend from a couple months ago, where people from all over the world talked about the dumbest question an American had asked them. There's maybe like 10 of us all trying to explain to this American couple why they probably don't have fireworks for the 4th of July in Marrakesh, Morocco. And I said, I've never really been more than a city kid. Like I've always been either near or in a city. And she, sa she asked me, weren't you born in Peru? And I was like, yes. She goes, wait, I don't understand. Like, how are you in a city in Peru? And then he said, oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you, it's not pronounced Algeria, it's pronounced Argentina. I had to explain to him that I came from an actual country called Algeria. So I decided that I'll be sharing both with you, the most annoying and the dumbest questions I've been asked by Americans. And of course, no offense to anyone who has asked me these things before. As I said in this video, I usually don't think that any questions are stupid, especially when it's about cultural differences and those kinds of things. But that doesn't mean that there aren't moments where I think to myself, wow, seriously? Still, please just take it with a grain of salt. Let's start with the dumbest questions I've been asked by Americans, and the first one is this one. Why do we call Germany Deutschland in German? I had never been asked this question before I came to the US, and I do understand people wondering about why Germany has so many different names in different languages, but I've straight up been asked before, so why do you have a different name for your country? Why don't you just call it Germany? Or why do you call your hometown this weird other name? if you could just say Munich. Number two on my list is this one. Hi, I'm Felicia, I'm from Germany. Wow, that's so cool. Like, have you lived in Germany before? Yeah, I was born and raised there. I didn't even come to the US until I was 22, after I got my bachelor's degree. So, do you speak German? Which language do people think one speaks when they're born and raised in Germany? Sometimes the conversation even goes on a little. Yeah, of course I do. Like, fluently? Yeah, it's my native language, like my whole family is German. And guys, I've probably had this conversation 10 to 20 times in the US, so it's not one of those once in a lifetime situations. I actually just had it again this past weekend. Before I share the next question on my list, I wanna introduce today's sponsor, which is a platform that I wish I knew about when I still went to university, StudoQ. It was created by students for students and gives you access to what everyone who's ever attended a university was wishing for during exam season, millions of students and created lecture notes, study guides, and book summaries. This can save you so many hours when studying because you won't have to read that entire book or feel insecure because you only skimmed it and you won't have to spend all that time on creating your own summary for the whole semester. And the best thing is that you can profit off it the other way too because if you share your notes that you took in class or maybe the summary that you've already made for previous exams, you can earn hundreds of dollars and at the same time, help other students in your situation. That's such a quick and easy way to make some extra money while being a student with something that you already have anyway. And on top of that, you can also refer your friends and earn from their uploads too. If you're curious, I would recommend to just click on my link in the description box below and try Studokia yourself. Now, back to the dumbest questions I've been asked by Americans, and the next one is yet another one that I had never heard outside of the US, and I've been to about 20 different countries in total. Hey, German girl, so what's it like driving on the wrong side of the road? What do you mean? You know, since we drive on the right side of the road here, so do we in Germany. Wait, I thought you guys drive on the left side. I really don't know why so many people think this, because I'm telling you, even Americans that know a little more about the rest of the world than the average American have asked me this before. But guys, it's mainly the UK and former British colonies that drive on the left side, like Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, or countries in Southeast Asia like Thailand. But in Europe, we all drive on the right side, besides the British. 
Next up, I always find it a dumb question when I tell people that my name is Felicia or Felicia in German and they ask why I have an American name if I'm German. I know that's not a super dumb question, but I always find it a little ignorant. Like so many names are names that you'll find in all kinds of languages like Julia, Julia or Anna, Anna or Peter, Peter and Felicia has a Latin origin and shows up in all kinds of languages. That's actually one of the reasons my parents gave me the this name because they thought it might be helpful if the name exists in other languages as well. And well, they were right about that. And to get to the really, really dumb questions, we're gonna have to go back in time a little to when I came to the US for the first time at the age of 16 to participate in a high school exchange. Some of the American kids were even younger than 16 at the time, and I think it's okay that they didn't know all that much about other countries, but I was still shocked by some of these questions. I got the classics like if all Germans are Nazis or if Hitler is still alive, but also questions like, do you guys have refrigerators in Germany? Now let's get to the most annoying questions I get asked by Americans. And the first one is more of a me thing, I think. I don't think that other Germans are annoyed by this, but when people talk about soccer around me, they often go, oh no, sorry, sorry, you guys call it football, right? So this football player, Lionel Messi, blah, blah, blah. Or when I say soccer, people often go, wait, I thought you guys called it football. And yes, I know that some Europeans are very set on calling it football, but I always find this kind of annoying. Like I'm speaking American English right now. Why would I call it football if that just leads to confusion in this country? I really don't care what it's called. I just want to make sure that everyone understands what we're talking about. Plus, no, we don't call it football in Germany, actually. We call it Fußball. So I personally really don't care which English word I use for it. In American English, it's called soccer, so that's what I'll say. And that's what I expect Americans to use too. Then I find it kind of annoying that I always get asked things like, wait, don't you guys drink your beer warm in Germany? No, Kyle, we don't. I've addressed this topic in several videos before though, if you're interested. Number three on the list of annoying questions is when Americans say something like, so how are you dealing with all of our local accents? Like, have you noticed that some people will call it pop instead of soda? That must be so confusing to you. What accents are you talking about? Like, yes, regional accents are a thing in the US, but compared to pretty much every other country in the world that has been around for more than 300 years, Americans literally speak the same wherever you go. Like, in Germany, we have over a hundred dialects and our country is smaller than Texas. Sometimes people speak a different dialect in the neighboring village with different pronunciations, different words and different sentence structures. It's really not that crazy that there are a couple words that people use differently in different parts of the US. Given how big this country is, the amount of different accents and dialects is actually extremely low. And the same thing goes for when people say things like, you gotta know that us Americans, we use a lot of slang. We don't really speak proper English, you know? Oh, thank you for explaining that. Yeah, other languages don't have colloquialisms and slang. And last but not least, this might sound kind of mean. I think a few of these things actually have sounded kind of mean, but I sometimes find it annoying when people ask me about how authentic the German food is at a specific restaurant here. Like it really depends on what you mean by that because we don't eat schnitzel and potato salad every single day in Germany. And most of what you find here is traditional Bavarian food and doesn't represent the rest of Germany at all. So the answer is that in most cases, things have been Americanized a little. So that's something that I can at least judge. And it's it's also pretty easy to judge the pretzels, which aren't German at all at most places in the US. And beer cheese isn't a German thing either, guys, and neither is dipping your pretzels in mustard. But yeah, I personally don't love that question because it's just such a vague question to answer. And the weirdest thing is when people ask me about pseudo German food that is actually from the US, like Geta, which is very popular here in the Cincinnati region, or sauerkraut balls, or the beer cheese dip that I just mentioned. And then people ask me how authentic that is. And I'm just like, well, I've never seen this before I came to the US. So those were all the things that I could think of for these questions. The craziest response on TikTok that I've come across, and several people have shared the same story here, is about Americans being confused when a foreigner explains to them that their family is seven hours ahead because of the time zones. And apparently the American doesn't really understand time zones. So they ask, so why didn't anyone warn us about 9-11 then if they're seven hours ahead? Yeah. 
People have seriously shared personal stories like that. And there are a lot more of those questions out there that you can check out. This was it with my Ask a German mini series. If you haven't seen the other four videos, just check them out up here. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. This is where you can follow me and support my channel. And now I want to hear your stories. What is the dumbest or most annoying question that you've been asked by an American? or by another person that wasn't from the same country as you. Let me know in the comments below and I hope that I'll see you for my next video in a few days, which is going to be a very special one that I've been working on for weeks now. So definitely activate that bell so that you don't miss out on it. And I hope I'll see you then. Tschüss!